Hey, Seth David here from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, and in this edition of Nerd's Guide to the Galaxy, we're talking about how to undo reconciliations in QuickBooks Online. And I need to start off with one important sort of caveat to this, which is there are two versions of QuickBooks Online, two ways to access it. One is QuickBooks Online Accountant, known as QBOA. And then there's the version of QuickBooks Online that most business owners using QuickBooks Online have access to. The difference is that when you're using the accountant's version of QuickBooks Online, you have access to a set of tools that nobody else has access to. And this is particularly relevant for this purpose because accountants have the ability to batch undo reconciliations that nobody else has uh, the ability to do. And there's there's no two ways about it. There's no backdoor link. Some of these features that are unique to accountants, there are backdoor links that anybody can use to access those features. Not the case here. The, the whole difference appears in the options that are available when you're in the reconciliation history screen. So let's go to my screen and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Now, when I click the gear icon up here in QuickBooks Online, I can go to reconcile and I'll choose the account that I have in here in my sample company, uh, Wells Fargo, ending in 3051. And before I even put in the ending balance, because I'm not trying to reconcile, I'm trying to undo reconciliations. It's from within this screen, however, that I can access this option here that says history by account. And in the sample company, the data is very old. So I have to change this to all dates. And then you'll see the history. You can see it's kind of nice. It's broken down by year and then within that each month. And you'll see if I go to the oldest reconciliation here and I click this drop down, I have the option that says batch undo. If you are accessing this through the regular portal for QuickBooks Online, in other words, not the accountant one, this option would not be here. You would not be able to undo anything from here. In those versions, the only thing you can undo is the most recent reconciliation. So you'd have to just go back through history one month at a time to undo them all. Whereas as accountants, we have superpowers and we're able to batch undo reconciliations. And if I click this, it's going to confirm. It's going to say, hold on, it's going to undo everything, right? And so here I'm going to click go back. But if I click yes, it would in fact undo all of the reconciliations at once. Now, this is useful to know if you're the business owner watching this and you don't have access to these tools, but you have an accountant in QuickBooks Online and you need to batch undo, you need to undo a bunch of reconciliations going back because let's say the beginning balance is off and you want to kind of go back to a point in time where the beginning balance still match so you can redo the reconciliations properly. That's a common use case for this. You can reach out to your accountant and they can undo all of them in like 30 seconds versus you having to go one month at a time, especially when there's a lot of months that you need to undo. So this is very handy, very useful tool, the video itself, short and sweet. So by all means, if you're an accountant and you don't feel like making this video yourself, then hand the link out to mine. Anybody can use this and it makes life easier for everyone. As always, I hope you uh, learned something here, had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in the galaxy.